let's talk about my new camera, the Fujifilm GFX 50R. This has been my dream camera since 2020, and I started shooting in late 2018, and as my career advanced, I always needed cameras that could do photo and video very well, which is why this camera never made sense for me. Its photos are great, but it's definitely not known for its video. But now that I have my bases covered with my X-T5 and my X-H2S, the GFX 50R finally made sense. So at the time of shooting this video, I've had this camera for a week, and I'm here to share my experience. This camera has literally not left my side for the past week. I've had it at the grocery store, at the mall, at Target, um, and I just really love this camera. And I've held and seen this camera so many times at KEH before actually owning it. But once I became an owner and started using it, I realized that this is what a camera should feel like for me. I hear a lot of people talk about the ergonomics and I actually love the ergonomics with or without the grip. Um, I just usually have grips on all my cameras, which is why I got it, and it just looks cool too. This has so many custom function buttons that I don't even use them all yet. I shoot this like my digital film camera, so I'm not using autofocus lenses right now, and if I don't absolutely need autofocus, I'm taking this for photo over my X-T5 and over my X-H2S any day. Now let's talk about image quality. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about my last week with the GFX 50R is that size doesn't matter. And you might be asking, what in the world does that mean? And what that means for me is I'm used to taking my Fujifilm XF10 very small pocketable camera for my daily photos. But once I started shooting with the 50R, I did not care about having a pocketable camera because the quality difference is just that good. And I know I'm comparing an APS-C size 24 megapixel camera to a medium format 51 megapixel camera, but I think what's important is that I'm willing to sacrifice so much comfortability in having a pocketable camera just to carry this big brick around because the image quality is just that good. I'm finding it very hard to separate myself from the image quality of this camera and use other cameras because the quality of the GFX 50R is just so good. And now for the part that people wanna see the most, the actual photos. I have not shot portraits with this yet. Um, that's mainly what I shoot, but here are some daily photos that I've taken in my first week with the Fujifilm GFX 50R.